Aberdeen. Accusations of homophobic language have been made after a satirical rap song was performed on Sunday at an independence convention. The all-female group What's Her Face impersonated female Scottish political leaders using a word considered by some to be offensive to gay women. John McManus's report contains some language you may find controversial. Westminster, you have not even wet your whistle. I'm the party fed on lighting that just gristle. This was the satirical rap sketch that was performed at the Scottish Independence Convention on Sunday. Singers representing Scotland's female political leaders struck the stage, making political jokes and innuendo. Yo, yo, yo! Listen up! You're about to get hit with the whip from the cabinet. What's caused controversy, though, is that the Ruth Davidson character is introduced as Ruth Dykey D. The question is, is it offensive? The SNP MP Joanna Cherry, who's a lesbian, was at the event and called the song hilarious on social media. But Conservative MSP Annie Wells, also gay, disagrees and has written to Miss Cherry asking her to apologise. There's no way, we're, we're trying to, at this day and age, trying to educate and have inclusive education for children within our schools, yet we've got a Member of Parliament saying that that was okay, it was hilarious and it was, it was just satire. Um, and it, it certainly wasn't. Ruth Davidson recently announced that she was engaged to her partner, Jennifer Wilson, but she's made jokes about lesbians as well. The Labour and Green parties also have gay leaders, but Stonewall Scotland says homophobic language can still be heard in Scotland's classrooms and workplaces. Not everyone, though, thinks that language leads to discrimination. I think there's a real problem that we've lost the distinction between words and actions. There is a difference between people uh, saying things or cracking crude jokes and people being violent and we should uh, get back to recognising there's a, the, there is a great difference and one does not directly lead to the other. Joanna Cherry MP has now issued a response to the criticism saying I saw yesterday's performance as a satirical comedy sketch written by lesbian women and performed by lesbian women which mocked representatives of all political parties including the SNP. In that context, I do not believe it was intended to be offensive, but I do understand why some find it to be. Miss Cherry says she regrets the offence that was caused and will continue to champion gay rights. John McMahon.